one Sunday morning, 25 degrees outside, 43 inside. Got down to about 18 last night. We are still running on medium down the middle. We'll kick it on to low and just go up about three o'clock. Uh, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to just kind of try and clean up a little bit. I brought some stuff from the house in with me, uh, that guitar stand. Long, longer time viewers to the channel may recognize that little Samson. That's my new gigging speaker. It's been great. Um, but yeah, like I could take the trash out. I can put some of these tools away. I don't think we need the big level anymore. We'll keep the little level, that one, because, well, no, I guess we won't. Because it was great, because I could drape the insulation on top of me and just, like, poke it with, a, with the level as I walk backwards. Got it up there. Much easier to work with. Um, but, like, I don't think I need any of this for a little while. I don't need that. The garbage bags will keep, but some of this other stuff. Had to buy some more inch and five eight screws because I used the last of them on the door. We need to get some weather strip for that door. That thing is bowed so bad. I went and put the level on the door and everything was hunky-dory there. But it was neither hunky nor dory along the along the frame there. So but yeah, um as long as I keep this area open and back in that area open so we can run some electrical for the heater, we're fine. So we're just kind of kind of do what we've been doing. Um, I'll just kind of put everything out right here in the middle. I can go along this wall just fine up to, you know, here. I won't go past here. I want to give plenty of room to get in and out of that so yeah i think that's what we'll do i'm a i'm a little disappointed with the performance of the ceiling insulation doesn't seem to have made a whole ton of difference but i have to remind myself outside it's been 20 degrees cooler than it has been the last like three weeks so to be the temperature it's in here now, you know, I just got to tell myself it's okay. It's just fine. I don't need to worry about it so much. Just, you know, remind yourself. So, yeah, I'm going to hook us up, get us some tunes, man, and get busy. I think what we'll see is um, I would really like to be able to empty one or two of these out, but that's all drum stuff. There's probably some things in here I don't really need anymore. One of my two uh, drum rack mount tambourines. This is a kalimba. Seen better days. God, I don't even remember where I got this, but it was one of those neat little things. I don't even have any of the other brackets for this thing. It's a tom mount set on top of a bass drum like that. I bought I bought this. One of the not one of the first, but there was a song I recorded New Year's Eve of 2008. It's called 08. And uh, I needed a shaker and this is what I had, so what got used. Uh, drumsticks, a clipboard, and some rods, and some broomsticks. These things are fun. Any, all right. These are them, man. These are the sticks I like. I really like the, the length, the diameter, and I like the tip on them. I was thinking... Ugh. I think I had a pair in the house, and I was going to have to order some more, but I got two 
two or three in here. Probably ordered these stags to try them because we were a stag dealer at the time. I don't think they were very, very good. But they also, you know, weren't very expensive either. These are timbale sticks. Why did I buy those? One metal brush. Two metal brushes. Some yarn mounts. Stick holder. Miscellaneous drum parts. Bag bowl full of picks. A drop clutch. A couple of maracas. Drum keys. Anthem. Did I ever buy an Anthem? Oh, you know what? I know what this came with. Um, Para DI. It's a little demo disc. A couple of different flutes and whistles, etc. Shouldn't really be in with the drum stuff. Bass guitar, acoustic guitar, electric guitar. Capos, tuners. And guitar straps. Be nice if I could get some of the rest of that crap sold. Then some of that crap could go in here. That ain't the world we live in right now, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, let's get to work. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Monday the 30th. It is about 19 degrees outside. We have hit our, our high for the morning, I think. And it is a whopping 39 in here. So, we're going to up the oomph on our heater. And um, we're out here today. Uh, guy's going to come measure the floor to do some carpet installation. So I want to get a clear-ish path. I think we'll just go right here. Scoot that over there. That should be fine. And what we need to kind of tackle today is this window gets a mite bit cold. So we're going to do a couple things. I don't have any more hunks of insulation to put up over there. So what we're going to do... <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just I'm gonna throw some curtains up over it. Um, that's not gonna do a whole hell of a lot. But I'm gonna also kind of sort of half board it up a little bit, which again ain't gonna do a whole hell of a lot. But some is better than none, ladies and gentlemen. I am a big proponent of that. That ain't great. Um, but like I said, some is better than none. I don't have a... I, I used to have this big roll of like the weather seal window insulation plastic stuff. And if I can find it, we'll put it on the outside. But I don't know if I can find it. But we might be kind of almost in business here. That ain't great, but it ain't bad. That piece will be too big. That's going to be too small. Okay. Cranking this up will help. It's just, this is our, our, our coldest wall because it's the least of all of them insulated. So, got to be cautious with that. I brought in this cabinet 
so I could have somewhere to set these. Because I went to use the tools the other day, and as you saw, the batteries were so cold, they uh, would not break. So, gives me a little something to set chargers on. Anyway, um, I need a hammer because the uh, clips for the uh, curtain rod there are uh, nailed in. And I was hoping I had a implement out here. But I don't. Every tool is a hammer, but when you don't have a tool, you don't even have a hammer. Now I wanna I wanna also let's talk about this real quick. There's guitars in here. There's a guitar over there. There's a guitar there. There's drums in there. Yes, the cold is not very good uh, on guitars, etc. Well, there's a hammer right there. That'll work. No, we're not gonna do that. Um, this is true. However, what makes it worse? isn't that it is cold or that it gets cold. What makes it worse is when it goes hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. It's that rapid and continuous expansion and contraction that is hard on equipment. If it gets cold and stays cold, that ain't great. If it gets hot and stays hot, that ain't great. If it, if it goes back and forth, back and forth, that's really not great. Look at that. Yeah, it's just... It's not as crunchy as it could be, but I still don't like it. Anyway, so that was the update for the day. Hey, it's cold in here. Um, there was something else I thought of grabbing. Oh. I remember you don't need the framing hammer for this job but I do want a nice driver got bits out there There's a couple of screws, but I want a couple of these. Oh, I can't get it open. It's too cold. Oh God, it's bright. Oh God, it's bright. Whew. I looked up, the building was there, and it blinded me. Okay, nice, nice and dark in here now. Uh, it is well, lunchtime. We got up to forty outside and forty inside. And I was gonna turn on this little fan, you know, just to get some air moving. And I think it was too cold for the fan to turn on. This is the one that I need to take apart and kind of give a once over to. I want to clean up, like take that tape off and all the gunk. It's a neat little fan. I like it. It just, uh. It's had some better days. What I want to do is I just want to get the air circulating a little bit. It doesn't have to, like, blow in super fast. But just moving, I think it will be a little better if we do that. So It is moving much faster than that. What you're seeing there. There we go. It's catching up. Uh, carpet guy came out. Um, they had a remnant that would fit, except it's about six inches too short lengthwise. So... Which is a bummer. Um, I uh, I told him that's fine. 
Obviously, we're not going to do carpet before the walls and everything are done. Uh, but, uh, unfortunate that that one was not available. One piece, do the whole thing, hardly any scrap left over. It was 400 and something dollars, 470, 475, I think. Not counting pad. So, we're probably looking to do the floor in here with some, some good quality carpet probably between seven and nine hundred dollars maybe up to a thousand I don't know we'll see um yeah that's a little better we'll just wait and see how that goes kind of take it for what it's worth do something exciting with it I don't really know Ugh, shiver. Gotta get the walls done first, though. That is mission one after the heat's put on. Um, back out. I wanted to check the temps and all that. See, it's already gone up to 41.1 FM. Uh, looking at this wall, and I, I went and did some. I wouldn't call it shopping because I didn't buy anything. Pricing, getting some ideas together. And I think I kind of know what I want to do with it. We did talk about doing some built-ins, some shelving and all that. I also want to do some storage. So here's my thought. I've got those totes. I've got those drawers. They're fine. They're not ideal. They ain't amazing. They're pretty good. Somewhere in here... And I think it's probably at the very bottom of this pile. Yeah, right. Right here. That is a wooden rack. It's like this, but it's made of wood. Um, And I think it's a 10 space, maybe. And you can get drawers that fit in those. So I'm thinking, because what really was causing me to scratch my head wasn't so much the cables and, and all of that stuff, but I got a ton of microphones. I got a ton of guitar pedals, right? Effect pedals and everything. So I'm thinking, what do I do with all of that stuff? So I thought, since I want to build a shelf here, and, and it's going to have gaming stuff at the top, so why don't I build basically a long rack shelf at the bottom all the way across because you can get just the rails which are these pretty cheap a rack is not cheap and and the country same thing um somewhere in here i actually have some rack rails i don't remember where i put them but they're around here somewhere um so just an empty rack like this, and this is a cheapy kind of one, is a couple hundred bucks. And it's made to put equipment in. Um, in that, there's probably a compressor, an equalizer, effects processors, all that kind of stuff. And like this mixer will mount into a rack, and I really like that. Anyway, that's what they're, they're made for, this kind of stuff server gear that so what i did is i started pricing just some like dressers um cabinets things like that and i found some they all kind of suck right like like <laughs> modern furniture is terrible um I don't like it. I don't need it. I don't want it. So here's what I'm thinking. Let me get, get enough of those rack rails. We'll measure this wall all the way across. And we'll see. If I had a tape measure out here, I'd do it. We'll see how... Well, this might still be eight feet. Yeah. Means I have to do some math. 
That fan is speeding up. So, pretty much eight feet. Just about. There he goes. You hear that? What a champion. Okay. So, here's what I'm thinking. I'm actually going to turn that down now. So, why not, across the bottom, do basically a, a like a 10-space rack all the way across. Divide it up. Each, each one is 19 inches. I, I know that just because I know that. So, figure out our width. We divide that by, take, take the feet. Times it by 12 to get the inches, divide it by 19, that's how many we can get. Uh, we add three quarters of an inch, an inch for the for the sides. So we actually have something that these can attach to because they, they'll bolt on from the side. Um, and then I can get these drawers. The drawers ain't super cheap. They're 60 something bucks a piece. Between 50 and 60, depending on quality. They can lock. I don't need them to lock, so I'll find some that don't. And then just all across the bottom. So, mic cables, microphones, guitar cables, uh, guitar pedals, patch cords, um, controllers, consoles, all of that stuff can just go here. And then we'll have the whole top. Basically, I'm thinking from like here up. So... I mean, almost three feet to the top for, uh, for, for games, CDs, whatever. I still got a bunch of CDs. Bring my vinyl out here because the, the bottom will need to stick out farther than the top to accommodate the depth of the, uh, the drawers. So, I mean, that, it needs to be at least that wide. At least as deep as this case. So the drawers can go in and out. All over here, out of the way. But then the top... The deepest games I've got come in, I think, a DVD case or a CD case. Super Nintendo games, maybe a little wider. If, if you know, you lay them down this way. Not stand them up so the spine faces out. So really, that means the the depth of the top. There is a two by four, so it's three and a so three and a half. So it, I mean that is plenty deep enough because a CD case is like five and a half. Five and a quarter, something like that. Because I think a CD is five. So a CD case is probably five and a half. So if I do my the top shelves six inches, six, seven inches deep, that's plenty. I'm going to be back. There'll be a little lip at the front. All the way across. I mean, I got a lot of games, but I couldn't, I couldn't fill this whole thing with games if I did that. Would not work. Oh, I was out and I didn't get weather stripping for that door. I came and put a level on this. The door is is fine. This is this is off. The the jam there. Ideally, it would all need to be fixed. That's probably why the old door didn't work with the damn either. And there's a lot of light in there. That's probably what part of my problem is. Maybe that's why I bought the stupid can of spray foam. I'll bet it was for that, and I just didn't remember. I'm going to do that before I go inside. One of the other things I was scratching my head about earlier today was, you know, uh, layout of the room, organization, storage stuff. I've got all these guitars. That's a guitar rack. This thing with the yellow stripe on it. It'll hold five. Um, 
That case over there, I think, will hold seven electrics, four acoustics. And obviously, I don't need every guitar I own out. I can get some hangers for the walls. Which I can open plastic. That would be great. Perforations? What's that? We don't need none of that. Anyway, so I still kind of like the idea. Computer setup over here. It is close to that, which is not super great. Maybe we put it on this wall. Something. Um, turn it this way. Put it in the middle of the room. So, you know, facing that way. Got like a little... Like a little half wall across the middle. I don't know. Don't love that idea. Um, don't love that idea. Okay. I'm thinking maybe I don't need to shake this. This one's got the fancy reusable uh, dispenser thing on it. Anyway, that's what I know. Working on that. Thankfully, we got room. We got plenty of room. Really, if if I set up like a bass guitar corner and a guitar corner and <laughs> drums in the kind of in the middle or or drums against a wall or something, there's there's plenty of room for for me and everything that I need out here. I have to cut the end of that. Looks like I do. All right, well, that means I gotta get some tools. Anyway, see you guys next time. Hi, right, we're back. You're done. I just had myself a little nap. There was a call from the that's a little high uh, from the carpet lady. Um, we just kind of picked two kind of on each end of the spectrum, one a little more fancy than the other, one pretty middle of the road uh, to price, and we're looking at between. Pretty much eight hundred and a thousand dollars. If we want to do it right, we're up to forty-six. It is. I didn't even look. Probably about forty-two outside. So not as good as I was hoping. That's all right. We'll let that run down and see what we get. Um. Not exactly sure how this is supposed to be reusable, but it says for like weeks it's good. I don't know if it's the tube, if it's the handle, the nozzle, or what. So did a little more in that corner along here, got that gap. I think I had some holes down here, so I'm almost thinking I bought it to do just kind of that. So I went most of the way down. Um... Is it going to do much? Probably not. But there were some some holes like right there. It's kind of a blobby spot. There was some wire still poking through the wall for that baseboard heater. And... Didn't want that. Excuse me. It's still a little cool out here, but it's it's comfortable. I need to go and crack down some plastic and do the windows. That'll help. I just, I know at one point I had some, but I don't think I do anymore. I had like a big roll. And what I would do is I would cut like inch wide strips out of something like this. And I just built a frame, attached the plastic to the frame, and then put the frame on the window. And then take it down and reuse it every year. But I don't know that I've got all of that stuff anymore. 
I don't know. But we're going to get a sweep for the door. This, this is replaceable. It just, there's a little groove right, right in there, right there, that it snaps in. And this stuff's pretty cheap, so it's falling apart. That's our bigger problem. So I'll pick up some of that because there's like none right here. And that's where it's worst. Okay. Up here where there's still a little bit left, it's fine. So, that'll help. We'll work on that later. For now, it is time to make some coffee. And uh, get ready for Monday night's stream. See ya.